Rethinking Global Certificate Transparency via Access to Decentralized Data Today, countries all around the world are more closely connected than ever before. Food supply chains have gone global, spanning countries and continents. As a result, transparency surrounding compliance with food safety, environmental, social, and other issues is becoming an increasingly important industry requirement. Buyers need instant access to accurate information on reports and certificates and their validity. But how should such access be provided and regulated? A few organizations propose the development of a single, global certificate platform to store certificate data of all food business operators certified to certain programs. Global Gap and a number of other certification program owners, or CPOs, have considerable concerns about the idea of a single platform. Why? Let's find out. First of all, let's explore how a single platform would work. A central database platform would automatically receive data from all certification program owners. This data would include a list of farms and food business operators that are certified to specific programs, the validation or expiry date of certificates, and locations of the listed farms and food business operators. Different levels of access to this data would then be granted based on the role they are assigned. For example, retailers, industry, regulatory authorities, and potentially farms and food business operators themselves. These access rights are to be determined at a later date. The initiators of this approach say that the overall goal is to simplify data access and make the certification statuses of farms and food business operators more transparent. However, Global Gap has identified three main problems with this approach. Firstly, it creates the potential for antitrust violations. According to the central approach, all certificates and the associated data from participating CPOs would have to be uploaded to this single platform, regardless of whether the individual farm or food business operators have consented to this. If all of this data can be found in one place, instead of with each individual CPO, everyone would begin to rely on this as the go-to source of information. By becoming such an enormous source of data, its operator could begin to monopolize and control the market for certificates and information around it. Currently, most initiators are only planning to store food safety-related data, for example. But what if they begin to expand beyond this? We are already seeing a rising demand for more information, such as full audit reports and corrective action measures. Buyers are beginning to request customized data analytics for risk assessment and reporting purposes. All of this data can also be enriched with non-core certificate-related information and is business critical. CPOs have therefore developed sophisticated databases and or IT systems to create additional value with this data. Thanks to their close relationships with farms and food business operators, their systems can be flexible and driven by differentiated market demands. If a centralized platform becomes the sole source of information, this market will be swallowed up. It could eventually lead to CPOs being charged for the additional services provided to other stakeholders. Or it could even mean that the operator, as a single, centralized global organization, develops business models to sell such information themselves. This all means there is a huge risk of the operator of such a platform becoming a monopolistic data supplier. Second of all, the proposal for a single centralized platform conflicts with existing data privacy agreements. In line with their current functionality, all CPOs have data agreements signed with each certified farm or food business operator. These agreements outline how the certificate-related data can be stored, used, and shared. Data cannot simply be transferred to a central database platform without breaching these existing agreements, in particular if it implies wide redistribution. Signing new agreements could be an option here. However, this is not cost-effective and is not in harmony with the overall aim of simplifying the process for all those involved. Thirdly, Global Gap believes that a centralized system will cause the unnecessary duplication of data and endanger the single source of truth principle. This may ultimately result in liability issues for the operator of the central platform itself. Currently, the authenticated source of trusted data and liability lies with the CPOs. If data is duplicated to a central platform and shared from there, the duplicate may already be outdated at the moment of sharing, and CPOs can no longer ensure the provision of authentic, relevant, and referable data. This allows more room for errors or inaccuracies, which may be attributed to the operator of the central platform. In any case, the data is duplicated but provides no added value. In light of these disadvantages, Global Gap proposes an alternative solution.
The idea is that CPOs continue to be in charge of their data, but this data will be made accessible in a harmonized format via application programming interfaces, or so-called APIs. How does it work? Relevant data from all CPOs is treated as open data, meaning it is stored nowhere centrally, but rather decentralized with each CPO. Each CPO remains a single source of truth. This data is made accessible to different benchmarking initiatives, retail or industry, and regulatory authorities via APIs that connect to individual CPOs, thus becoming interoperable. Those accessing the data can choose whether to draw the data directly from the CPOs or via the APIs. Data will be harmonized, which means those retrieving the data will see data in comparable formats. It is standardized and scalable. Harmonized access rights will be worked on collaboratively in a similar manner to the original proposal. Why does Global Gap believe this is the right way forward? Global Gap's proposal offers several advantages over that of a central platform. The advantages are, there is no potential antitrust issue since each CPO is in charge of their own data and offering competitive services. There is a greater chance of achieving harmonized access rights since this is a collaborative exercise rather than a rule imposed by one central platform. It enables the simplification of data access and increases transparency without duplicating data. The single source of truth is therefore retained. It's collaborative. Each user gets their information as needed, but we avoid a central bottleneck. And of course, any benchmarking initiative can independently query the data for their organizational needs, such as statistical reporting, integrity programs, and invoicing. Global Gap supports any effort to achieve global transparency of compliance and certificate data, but this effort needs the wholehearted support of all stakeholders. It's not too late to design a modern approach to data, which is cost-effective, flexible, standardized, and scalable. Now is the time for the interoperability of decentralized data. Let's leverage the energy of all stakeholders by designing a modern, global, collaborative approach. Join us in this task. For more information or to add to the discussion, please contact Christian Moller.